dreams, crooked niggas and hustlers trying to get more. Everything I strive for, niggas and try and stay alive. Pray to God and save my soul, she's old enough to make it cry. And now I lie, in the whole biggest form, I get a wall full of revenge, captured hers to the day, trapped in a storm. Above the weak is what my eyes have seen. Keep 17 in the chamber, relying on total strangers, I'm a hopeless game banker. The militant mind stated all the niggas on my block. So I either push it forward or getting rolled up by the cops. With what he got us in the zone, with some us I keep the chrome. Cause these dumb niggas trying to punch holes in my dome. This is a story of a young thug named Remo, lost in the streets of Los Angeles. What this fool really needs is Jesus, but he has no one yet. This nigga been in jail so many times, that when he would get out, he thought coming home was like going on vacation. Me, Remo, open the door, it's cold out here. Raised in Los Angeles, what the police don't understand us, what the TVs want to ban us, cause he's smoking bomb ass when he picked my holes in bed. He was always stressed out and talking about doing the finer things in life. But couldn't he finish high school because of his impatient obsession for quick cash? Man, he figured, why waste all that valuable time learning a white man's knowledge when there's a black man in this world trying to learn new things would have probably get you caught up in unnecessary bullshit. If you want some in life, you just take it. Is that how America works? Yeah. Uh -huh. your life all yeah. Don't live your life all yeah. And if you live your whole life alone, but if you find yourself on your own, you better find your boss on uh -huh. your own. Because you're so lady that rest at home. The way you live in your life is wrong. The way you live in your life is What a shame. Boobies in the back, give him brain. The devil wanna rap, must I snap, Papa Bang. The letter will stop, who else my black is off the chain? Everywhere I go, my vibe will stay the same. Realness, feel this heartless from pain. Too many lonely days that never maintain. Shoveling six inches of snow, laughing, dancing in the rain. Trouble will pass soon, the hood show good. The lost generation picking locks on the chain. Peace on earth, hustling, fortunate to vain. Treats at first before my nine to your brain. Beats I thirst, so I spit it raw all day. Six birth full of joy, giving in a day. And if you live your life all alone, but then you find yourself on your own. You better find your poor soul or all. But just hold it, that rest at home. The way you live in your life is wrong. The way you live in your life, your life, your life, your life. Hey, Remo can't shoot, man. What? <laughs> Ha ha, very funny, it's going coming up off the trick game. Oh, shit. Isn't that clever? Oh, shit. Oh, the motherfuckers, nigga. What? This black and Italian brother named Clever was a low key hustler in the neighborhood. He had scooped up all the illegal money making deals that went down on the west side of Los Angeles. If he wasn't doing notorious takeovers, his family was. If his family wasn't doing them, his partners were. What's up, man? You in this dice game? If his partners weren't doing them, they would have a sit down with the other ballers of the city and discuss how they were going to conquer whoever was doing the biggest drug deal. Get your piece of this now. He was just that connected. What you do, man? What's up, man? What's that, man? Right now, man. Right. Yeah. What's up, too? Yeah. Just going to school, man. Is that right? Yeah, that's fucking up my money, nigga. So every now and then, Clever would roll through the neighborhood and turn some of the toughest little homies onto some of the smaller scores to keep peace in the city. The league didn't like him. But would speak to him to keep peace. I just love big stuff, man. We should make some real things. Nigga, how much? Oh, jeez. Nigga, shit. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I got this dude going in and stuff. But is he cool, man? He's down there, man. By the thing, man. I just holler at you later. 
know I can't work with no bus to take it. Alright, nigga. Bound to get rich and it's all about the game. Bound to get rich and it's all about the game. Make your grip, get chips and slime. Make your grip, get chips and slime. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Life's too short to be broke in the day. Life's too short to be broke in the day. 1860 grains full clips. Mr. Luno's known to get it cracking like bull whips. Full service on all these little marks when I diss. Ain't no plan with life on my own. Damn, man. How's moms and everybody? Just some chill. Man, I haven't heard from you in a while, man. Where you been? At the age of 25, a career criminal serving nearly a decade behind bars for murder and drug trafficking, he gets released from prison. Shit, I've been locked up for violating my probation. Did your moms tell you? No, nah, man, I ain't heard anything. How come you couldn't write a brother? Shit, I ain't had the time. Just hell in that motherfucker. They're too busy trying to watch my back from all kind of fools in there. I hear you, bro. Yeah, so what's up with school? And now this thug wants to settle down and get his life together when he sees his friend and mentor Tilly Davis go from a lunatic straight up OG to a college student flashing his ID. It's rough, man. I'll be done by June, though. By then, my plans open up my own athletic shoe store. Be well on its way. He wants to be down. My next leak sound a bit. Yeah, I just want to have my own, man. Yeah, you know. You know, I was thinking, now that I'm out, maybe I should go to a J.C. take some classes or something. Yeah? No, nigga, I'm just fucking with you. Look, Remo, man, the only way we as black people stand a chance is through education. And the key to education is to stay focused, man. Once you stay focused, the world is yours. But can he do it? We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. But whatever happened to Rob? Hey, Rob transferred to SC. He over here playing basketball. No shit? So you stay here by yourself? Not anymore. I just got a new roommate. Yeah? Is he cool? Yeah, he cool. Uh, yeah, he cool. He straight. This is Jada. Nah. Not Hollywood Jada, Hollywood Jada. She's fine too. She even looks like one of those models you see on a Revlon commercial. Yeah, hi. Hey, what took you so long calling back? Man, to leak with bananas over this chick. You paged me the first time when I was in the cleaners. And the second time you paged me, I was leaving the cleaners. So how did you enjoy dinner last night? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I promise next time you get to choose a restaurant. Yeah, I've heard that before. It's just that uh, James kept telling me about this nice restaurant, so I thought we'd check it out. Who's James? James, my roommate. Oh, I didn't tell you? Yeah, this brother named James answered my uh, roommate's ad. Yeah, he's cool. Shit, he's only been here, what, two weeks, and he's already got women running in and out. Oh, hey, baby, I gotta go. Somebody's on the door. All right, later. Too bad she had a thing for low-life, scandalous individuals. Brings us to James Alexander. Hello. Please allow me to introduce myself. Man, this fool at the Playboy says you're a little too strong. My name is James Alexander. And yours? Especially when it came to fooling around with women that didn't belong to him. Jada Clark. Unfortunately, he had to choose Jada Clark to leak his fiance. Jada possessed class, didn't smoke grass, and had major aspirations of becoming the first criminal attorney in her family. She figures she can try and save a lot of brothers who are often discriminated against in the judicial system. What's up, Jada? Hello, Talik. You know, I've been calling you for the past three days. Didn't you get my calls? Yeah, I've heard them. Can we talk for a second? No, I can't right now. I got a really intense schedule, you know? Intense schedule? Yeah. Can you call me later? 
Remember Talik's lady live over there in that brown house. Look who car parked in the driveway. I told Talik that punk ass nigga James is no good. Who is that? Hell no. She ain't one of my hoes. And she needs quick, but it's shit. Yeah, my nigga woo, me click. I showed him the rope, she stayed true. To the matter at hand, hand in hand, the whole selling. Watch your back, never relax. Somebody always telling. Don't make no sense, woo. Locked up doing life, nigga, now you trap What a nigga do to make that money stack Now there ain't no way you can take it back First of all, I'm nobody's property, okay? Matter of fact, that's one of the prime reasons why I ended our relationships. Don't even go there. I see. And would you mind giving me some more of those prime reasons why you decided to leave Brother Man? Oh, Jay, Take What money? I don't know what you're talking about. Bitch, don't play stupid. Okay, you can have anything you want, but don't hurt me. I'm pregnant. It's in the closet in the top right hand corner. Damn, motherfucker, this ain't juice. I thought I told you not to shoot. Fool, she snatched off my Jason. I couldn't leave no witness. Nigga, you lying. Why the fuck she managed to snatch off both masks? What, you some kind of coward? So what you saying? I ought to peel your cap right now. Well, stop it. Fuck that, nigga. We got the loot. Y'all niggas need to squash that shit later and let's raise. There ain't no way you can take it back. Get back. No way. Beats me. Hey. Hey, baby. What are we thinking about? Our future. There's something I have to tell Shh, you. Don't say a word. Jada, I love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> what, marriage? Yes, but not until we finish school. Talit, don't you think things are moving just a little too fast? How's that? I mean, we've been together for three years. Don't you love me? Yes, but I'm not, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. That's what I want to talk to you about. What? I think we need to split up for a while. For what? 
Well, lately I've been having a lot on my mind, and would you question me all the time and wanting to know my every move doesn't help. Can we talk about this? No, I've given you plenty of warnings. No, I, I just can't settle for this. Sleep. What's your scandalous ass doing over here? Listen, man, about last night, it wasn't how it appeared to be. Nigga, who you think I am? A goddamn crash dummy? I know what you up to, do you? Ain't it bad enough that you fucked around my cousin, let alone fooling around with Talik's lady? You know he loves that hoe. Well, apparently she don't feel the same way about him or else she wouldn't have broken up with him. What? I know she didn't quit my homie for you. No, she didn't. You see, your boy Talik has become a bloodhound. Always checking up on her and planning things for her all the time. So she decided to end it. And now that it's over, she feels a little guilty. That's why I come in the picture and see. I'm the shoulder that she can lean upon. I always knew you was a snake. Yeah, snakes bite. What? Hey, why don't you just stay out of it, all right? What Jada and I do is our business. It doesn't concern you. You right. So why your punk ass over here? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. I came by to see to it that you don't say anything this to Talit. How you plan to do that? Roll me up or something? Oh, it's tempting. But I think I'll let the police or the inmates do it for me. Nigga, you ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Allow me to refresh in your memory, homeboy. About five minutes after you left last night, the police rolled up. They questioned me and Jada and a few neighbors. The neighbors described a dark vehicle accompanied by three black males. Now, I told them I didn't see anything. But if I could remember something, I'll definitely let them know. Why are you telling me this shit? Listen, man, I saw you and I know you had to see me, so why don't you just cut the game, all right? I don't know who in the hell you think you are trying to blackmail me over some bitch, but you fucking with the wrong nigga. Remo! Remo, why you never introduce me to your friend? Oh, he ain't no friend of mine. Oh, that's all right, ma'am. My name is James Alexander. I'm Talik's roommate over at LMU. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Mom seems real nice. I think you better shake the spot, partner. Yeah, I gotta go. Man, uh, you ain't gotta worry about nothing, as long as you don't say nothing to Talik about this. Oh, and by the way, why don't you get some CDs with all that money you brought in, too? Because tape's played out, bro. Very nervous. 
sleep, man. Killed himself. I bet you it's because of that tramp Jada. see you. 